There's two beautiful ways to express yourself. One is through art and the other is through poetry. Three years ago, I was in a state where I was filled up with emotions and was just drowning in my own thoughts. That time, I didn't have anyone around me whom I could open up to about my feelings. So I've kept it all in. Back then, I had recently bought a diary book which I planned to write my schedules into. However, one day, feelings were haunting me in a way that if somehow I didn't let it out, I couldn't breathe. Although, as I said, I didn't have anyone. So subconsciously, I took a pen and started to write down how I feel to that diary. I wrote exact and clear about how I felt, and I couldn't describe you enough how relieved I was later. It felt like I had just opened up to a person, but a person who listens and doesn't judge you. Ever since then, I kept writing my feelings down whenever they were finding its way out. This helped me mentally and spiritually. Writing and writing, I learned to describe my feelings with more defined words, which helped me to express myself in the most accurate way possible. Later on, I started resembling my feelings with objects and living things. Phrases turn into sentences, turn into paragraphs, turn into poems. For me, poetry is done with a single pen, paper, and a feeling. The thing about poetry is that you cannot lie. When it comes out, it comes out all truth. I felt that my poetry was something private, which consisted of my private feelings and was too sensitive to share. However, I learned that the theme of our club was taking the first step. So I built up the courage to take the first step to share my poetry with you today. Growing up in the assumptions of society, only to live with anxiety, pressuring us all to be the same, which in the end will only drive us insane. Comparing is the first mistake. We're all different, for God's sake. We have unlike names. We must have different aims. Pleasing others is the second mistake. You'll only be left with an ache. Please, give yourself a break. With their fingers, they point out to all the pieces they want to take out. But darling, that's all they can talk about. It's not worth your self-doubt. There's nothing like perfect. It is beyond our intellect. Yet people have chosen a figure and called it perfect. Identifying the real has become impossible. It's like everybody's a puzzle. With their hands, they destroy. With their mouths, they curse. And with those same hands, they tab us on our backs and utter some more words. Society today is just a pretend. And copying seems like the new trend. Our world has become so digital that texting has become so typical where voices are only read and feelings are just emojis widespread. With so much innovation, everything has become an application. What's next for the coming generation? We still have people in starvation. We live in a world where we're shuttered when we open our mouths, ignored when we speak our rights, cursed if we believe different. We're constantly hearing insults from people who are considered adults but I take everything with a pinch of salt because I know that they too have their own faults. Life is just a big maze. We all have been left feeling betrayed. We're broken in many different ways. We're just hiding behind our okays. The bitter truth we have to face is that we can easily be replaced. You give them all your heart, but they return it with all apart. As it all appears, you've known them all these years. Never have you thought, they could leave you in tears. We only have each other, but still fight to look tougher. Why do you make me suffer when you know it's hard to recover? In this life, despite everything you feel, I hope at the end you heal. Just remember, good, better, best. Never let it rest. Till your good is better and your better is best. Thank you.